Good morning, everyone. Today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, all. It's Thursday, November 28th, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, Tesla, Coney, Avedi, Misty, and Amzi. All right, so who had trades yesterday? Well, Coney had trades, and Misty had trades. Also yesterday, uh, just a heads up, I did make a whiteboard video, finally. Um, I have no idea how it came out, um, but you know, it may be all over the place. But either way, I tried to do my best, uh, make a quick video on the how I do options trading. So for those of you that were asking about that or interested in that, go check that out. It will premiere Monday at 3 p.m., which is Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so let's look at Misty's trade because Misty had a trade, right? We all love Misty. What'd they do? They did a buy call, okay, sell put, okay, sell call, okay, buy call, all right? So the buy call, sell put at the top, uh, that's the synthetic, right? <clears throat> you can tell, you know, same expiration, same strike. And then if you see a call and a put, for the most part, you know, next to each other, same number of contracts, that's going to be the synthetic. So they added um, to the synthetic 835 contracts, right? How do we know they added versus sold out? Well, the B for buy call, right? If they sold the call portion, then not obviously they would be selling out of their synthetic. So obviously, yes, they added to their synthetic position. And then the bottom two represent the call credit spread because they're doing a sell call at 460 and a buy call with a higher strike of 670. So uh, the premium that they're bringing in is 1825 minus 380 because the 380 is an expense since they're buying a call. When they sell the call, they're getting a credit of the 1825. All right. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. If not, we'll go to the spreadsheet and the spreadsheet will do the work, right? All right, so let's go here and we'll find Misty. Misty's just chilling right there. Misty's got a 315 synthetic, as we saw. Uh, how's it doing? It's doing pretty good, 23% above uh, its current price. So here's the 835, right? They added that yesterday. Um, and, you know, they paid a pretty penny because right now, again, they're in a good spot. So the call <coughs> is more costly than the credit you get for the put. All right, it cost them about, we'll just say six to seven million bucks. All right, so now we have 31,370 contracts to play around with. Uh, we're in a good spot. Synthetic expires in February 21st, 2025. Long time away, right? Holidays in between. Uh, 86 days till expiration. All right, so let's move on. It's raining out. I don't know if you guys hear the... Uh, the rain in the background, but that kind of sucks. I actually wanted to run this morning and that, I don't know, maybe it'll stop. All right. Um, so yesterday, look at that comeback, man. All right. So the day before it dropped 12.33% MSTR. That is the next day <coughs> it jumped up 9.94%. So man, day traders dream this stock. So MSTY, what did they capture? They captured 7.81%. So, I mean, that's not bad, right? Missed out on a little, like a little over 2%, but could be worse. So let's take a look at what they did. Again, they added the 835 contracts. What did they make on that? Let's see what they made. We've got some time, right? All right, so here it is. 835 contracts, 460 was the strike price, all right? Now, that's 18.3% out of the money. That's lately for Misty. I know their IV is dropping, but that's kind of tight. Um, especially, you know, <coughs> they got five and a half trading days. This yields 190% though. And since they did the call credit spread, they had to buy a call, right? And, and there's an expense to that, that that costs 380. They chose a 670 strike price, but look at that annualized yield. It's a negative, right? So we can deduct that from the other yield. And basically, they're getting about 150% annualized yield when all said and done. Again, so between the two, as Yield Max said, the overall annualized yield, whether it's just selling a call or whether it's doing a call credit spread, the yield should be the same, which obviously forces them to sell closer to the money. 
right? If there was no buy call here, they would sell at more, you know, further out of the money, such as 25%, maybe even 30%. But since they needed money to buy the call as part of the call credit spread, then they had to go closer, get a bigger credit on that side so they can pay for the debit on the other side. So, mm, uh, 18%. What do we think about that? I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll we'll see though. All right, what else we got going? We got nothing nothing for this Friday, right? Friday's what? The uh what was Friday? Friday's the 29th. So nothing expires Friday. So the market is open. Yield max maybe not be open, but the market is. So this is what we got going into next week. We got a lot of look at it. Look at all this. Good lord. All right, 790 contracts, 720 strike price. Um, 85% out of the money. Great. 885 contracts, 720 strike price, 85% out of the money. Great. No buy call attached to it. So this is just selling calls and they look good, right? So far when they just sell calls, they look pretty damn good. Things are going their way. So they should do more of it. All right. So let's move on to the next one. 6,545 contracts, 620 strike price, 59% out of the money. Not bad. Uh, they got the. They did buy a call attached to that one. That's an eight ninety, one hundred and twenty eight percent away from helping. Um, it looks useless to me at the moment, but we'll see. Fifteen hundred contracts, four four seventy five strike price, twenty two percent out of the money. That could be in danger, but don't worry. They bought a call. They bought a call. Eight hundred and ten dollars. That is. That's 108% away from helping. So we let's just consider that useless. All right, 10,000 contracts, 505 strike price, 29% out of the money. Again, that's the covered call. Is that safe? Eh, maybe, maybe. But they did buy a call, 710. Eh, hey, that's 82% away. All right, then they got 815 contracts, 445 strike price. This one's tight, 14.44% out of the money, right? So that could be that could be a loss for sure. But don't worry, they got a butt buddy at 670, but that's 72% away. So how much damage could it really offset, right? Again, time will tell. We'll, we'll, we'll look at the numbers next week together. Um, and then lastly, the 10,000 contracts, 460 strike price, 18.3% out of the money. Um, yeah, that's tight too, but we'll see. They, they got a 650 call that they bought. I don't know if it'll help you guys. Uh, you you be the judge. You be you predict. All right. So for yesterday, we saw right. How were they able to add to the synthetic position? This is how because people were buying in. Outstanding shares have increased by four hundred thousand over the past day. So that's pretty good. It's good for Jay. It's good for Yield Max. It's good for us because we want to be in a fund that will be around. It, it exists that. You know, can actively trade more. The more people buy in, the more they can actively trade and produce more income. You know, essentially help out their maybe their other positions which are lacking. So, and also more work for me, right? Which means you have to watch more of my channel. So better for you, right? Anyway, outstanding shares thirty seven million twenty five thousand. Okay, check check. Total net income? Nope. It's a loss. It's a loss of 57.7 mil. So yeah, they're they're losing on the weeklies. Are they going to catch up? Are they going to turn that? Are they going to flip that into a credit? Probably not. Reaction? Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Why not just show some food, right? Thanksgiving food. We got some mashed potatoes, right? Could be cauliflower for all the hell we know, right? Look, I guess that's mashed potatoes, but that's that's kind of the image uh, that I'm I was I was left with. Small ass bowl too. That's like for one person. I hope that's not for the for the family, right? But um, but yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I mean, I think everyone likes mashed potatoes for the most part. All right, Group D declares again in twenty days on December eighteenth. All right, so let's look at the breakdown now. We do not have synthetic income. We do not have short call income. In fact, we have all losses. So we have lost a total of eighty three mil. So again, it's tough. We can't. Can't cover anything really on this tab right now, but we can look at the IV. The IV reflects 160%, which is a payment of 417. What they pay last time? 442. Okay. So, you know, you get that, you'd be happy. All right. So, how's their, 
you know, how are their holdings looking? They got a synthetic, they got a call, right? Obviously the orange is greater than the pink, so that's good, check, check. And then they got all this crap in between. Like, look at this, look at this nonsense. Anything in the lighter blue, they're selling calls. Anything in the d darker blue, um, or the other shade blue, I should say, they're, they're buying calls. So yeah, they got, they got a lot going on here. It's, it's, a, it's too much to talk about. But we will tell you, synthetic income, when they, when they roll that, if they rolled it now, it would produce $246 million, which is nuts. They're going to need it. Because already in this four-week cycle, they ain't doing that great. All right, total net assets of this fund is $1.2 billion. Yeah, it looks like it's staying at the bill. Um, the NAV is thirty four oh nine. The trade price reflects thirty three ninety four. So doing rather well, right? We'll see. So that was Misty. Let's go to Tesla. Everyone's favorite, right? Tesla. Tesla. All right. Tesla is um, no trades. So they're just hanging out with their synthetic. They got twenty nine thousand two hundred sixty three contracts. They're 12.84% above their synthetic strike, but their synthetic expires in 86 days. Will they touch their synthetic? Uh, if they need to, of course, yeah. All right, so how did Tesla do yesterday? Tesla went up, not. Tesla went down 1.58%. That reminds me of, uh, boy, no, this is, uh, I forget what he said. This is my suit, not. Or he says something, something like that. Now I can't, for, I can't remember. I guess it's too early. But anyway, um, Tesla went down one point five eight percent. Tesla went down 091 percent. So Tesla beat Tesla. Right? Didn't didn't he say, "This is my suit, not"? When they're trying to teach him about not. You guys like that movie, Borat? pretty funny anyway so let's look at the trades um yeah look nothing nothing for friday right so we're done that's all folks anyway what do we got for next week uh we got a lot going on right we got we do we got a lot going on however if you look between the lines 360 360 360 what 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 all eggs in one basket one stake and strike price no scatter to do no nothing they got every single contract. They sold a call at 360. That's 8.14% out of the money. It's actually not bad, considering, right? I know they have five and a half trading days, but it's not bad. I know, and yes, they have call credit spread. The whole thing is a call credit spread. So they bought a call at 425. Is that going to be of any help? Eh, doubt it. Highly doubt it. So, are they throwing away our money on these stupid buy calls? It looks like it. Sure looks like it. More than not, you know? So, mm, let's move on. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Man. Hopefully, the bottom line is hopefully they win the trades. Regardless of what's going on, if they're buying a call or not, we want them to win their trades. We just want to give them the best chance to win the damn trades. All right, yesterday, Tesla. Oh, my God. People bought Tesla, 850,000 additional outstanding shares. Do you believe it? All right, 30 day IV, 47%. Outstanding shares, 65.7 mil. All right, we got a fresh, fresh four week cycle. Income, zero or zero, right? Is that Spanish? Zero. Uh, distribution, zero. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, so when we start doing some trades, obviously the income will reflect. And more on the food note. So yeah, this is some pumpkin pie. Used to love pumpkin pie when I was younger. Now it's just like, eh, not like, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me as much. I'll eat it, but it's not like, yay. All right, group A, they declare again in 28 days. Yes, we're on the next countdown, 28 days. The day after Christmas. Oh man, do you believe it? That's gonna be... A busy day, right? That's going to be, you know, is anyone going to watch? If I make a video on 1226, you guys are going to watch that? All right, anyway, let's go to payment date. Um, so there's no income. We're on the cycle three, right? We're on one. We went through one and two, and then we're on cycle three. But let's finish out cycle two. So in the end, cycle two, they produced 89 million. 
in net income, all right? We know they paid $1.22, big ass payment. That costs them, take the $1.22, you multiply it by, now I can use the outstanding shares because guess what? They are as at, you know, at the close of the declaration date, the day before the ex-dividend date. So 65775000 times 122 equals a total distribution payout of 80.2 mil. All right, can they afford that? Yes, because they had 89.1 mil. Great. So the credit carry forward picks up the extra. They have 8.8 .8 million extra. So again, a fantastic four-week cycle for Tesla. Could they have done better? Absolutely, right? But they did good. So let's be happy with the win. I don't know if you guys remember, but the month before, the four-week cycle before, they could not afford what they paid. So we do have a debit carry forward from that cycle. So we'll see what the third cycle does. Hopefully, we can produce some good income, enough income that we can actually afford, right? And then we'll, we'll do well, right? So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's go to the holdings. Hi, Tesla Holdings. How are you? Um, obviously, the orange is greater than the pink. If you're wondering why I periodically make different voices, you would also go loony if you made videos every day in the garage, right? Anyway, that's just uh, me trying to uh, have fun because I can't take everything too serious. I, I can't really take anything serious, to be honest. Um, but anyway, total net assets. Look at this. Look at that. Under a bill. Boo. Loser. All right. Uh, Tesla is at 919 mil. Is that good? That's pretty good. Right? That's pretty good. Um, but it's not a bill. Right? It's not quite a bill. And, oh my God. Look. Look. You know why? Something, something dropped. Something, something happened. We got negative cash. All right, it left, it left. So the cash left the building. That is why the NAV is $13.98. All that hard work to get up to $15 and boom, it's gone. Well, you guys wanted that big fat payment. So here you are at $13.98 again. Be careful what you wish for. Obviously, it was around $15.22 the day before, um, you know, at the close. But obviously, yeah, when you open... The, essentially, the open price uh, for Friday is going to be around thirteen ninety eight, right? Because you see the gap is about it shows a dollar twenty four. The payment was a dollar twenty two. It's not always exact, but whatever. We'll see. Um, but you got you guys got today off, so enjoy it. Anyway, synthetic bailout. Yeah, we're looking at money, man. We got one hundred twenty two mil, so we're doing pretty good. We need Tesla to stay good, right? All right. So that was Tesla. We did Misty. Now let's cover. The GOAT or the former GOAT? I don't know. All right. <clears throat> NVIDIA has, a, has two synthetics. They got a 148. They're behind, right? They're 8.55% behind. That holds 65,240 contracts. But that expires in 86 days. And NVIDIA has not been doing well, to be honest. And I know. Believe me. I know. I own Soxel. I don't know if you guys know Soxel. It's a triple leverage semiconductor disaster of an ETF, right? So NVIDIA... You know, it's a portion of it. It's not all of it, but typically others follow NVIDIA. If so, if NVIDIA goes down, others go down, right? So NVIDIA's have a rough time. I think maybe they were affected from the tariff news. So, you know, it's just hopefully things get better. We'll see. And then we got the other synthetic. This one has 35,350 contracts. This is down 1.93%, which is not that bad. But again, that expires in 86 days, so... We'll wait for that. All right. How did they do yesterday? Again, we said they went down. They went down. <coughs> the video went down 1.15%. So is that good? No, not really. I mean, it's good for covered calls, right? Um, and Vidi went down 0.72%. So not that bad. It's still raining. I guess the rain's not going to stop. We were well overdue for rain. So I guess I can't complain. I hate commuting in the rain, by the way. Not like I work today, but you know, it's just uh, nothing than driving at night and in the rain. Those are my two least favorite things when I'm driving. All right, so what has NVIDIA got going on? They got nothing for this Friday too, right? Why, you don't want to work, you lazy bastards? The market's open. Couldn't pick that expiration date? Was there no volume, no open interest? What's going on? 
All right, so anyway, these are for next week. Keep that in mind. They, they, and they got, they got 141s and they got a 142. Most of their contracts, though, they're at the 141 strike price. And that's 4.18% out of the money. Is that safe? I mean, lately, yeah, with NVIDIA, it just goes down. But, you know, it could recover. And then all of them, do they have, well, no, some have a one. See, they sold the calls, you know, at 141. And then they have, they bought a call at 155. They bought a call at 150. They bought a call at 152.50. And even they have one without a cover call spread. So that's good. They got little, little variety, a little bit though. So that's good to see though, not just a lazy, repetitive, same damn transaction. If you're gonna split them up, why not spread it out? Spread out the risk. So NVIDIA Fund Manager, good job, all right? I know you, you chose 141 as the covered call strike, which, I mean, that was lazy, but whatever. But you bought a call at a different strike, so maybe you see something, maybe you see something different. Or maybe you hit the wrong button, who the hell knows? Maybe we're giving you way too much credit. And then they got a 142. They did sell a call at 142, but that's only 1,900 contracts. That's 4.92% out of the money. But we'll see for next week, guys. We got five and a half trading days, all right? All right. Um, outstanding shares. Nothing. No one bought NVIDIA. You, come on, guys. No love for NVIDIA. 30-day IV, 36%. That's disgusting. Come on. We got to get this more volatile. It should be volatile. People are selling the sh crap out of it. All right, outstanding shares, 53.8 mil. Ooh, uh, total net income. Oh my God, we got income. It's like, it's like a miracle. NVIDIA has 26.6 million in income. Dish, that comes to a distribution of 50 cents. Daily income, two cents. Daily yield, 0.09%. If you annualize that, that's 33%. Okay, they're doing okay. We'll, get, we'll give them a pass. They're doing okay. Reaction, of course we have the turkey. Don't forget turkey, right? Dry ass turkey. Um, but yeah, does anyone like turkey? Do you guys like turkey? It's good. It's okay. It's not like, eh, yeah, you get your free turkey. You guys, uh, go to the supermarket and you buy a certain number of groceries, you get a free turkey. I can't believe how much that, you know, how much you have to spend nowadays to get the damn free turkey, but good Lord, inflation is real. Uh, nothing's cheap anymore. Good God. But anyway, group B which includes NVIDIA. Guess what? Guess what? This Sunday, I will give you my guesstimate for NVIDIA and the other losers in Group B. So stay tuned for that. All right, so here we go. Here's a, here's a preview. Synthetic income, 122 mil. Check. Boom. You the man. Short call income, 26 mil. Check. Boom. You the man. Net income, 148 mil. Check. Boom. You the man. All right, total income per share, 277. Is that good? Uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. All right. So you look at that. What they pay last month? They paid uh, 102 and they made 277. So for now, my guesstimate will land. We can't use the Rodimator estimate because again, it's look at that 63 cents. That's, that's a little low. They're, they're going to do better than that. So let's look at the IV estimate. The IV estimate shows 76 cents. That's also low. Um, but we'll use that as the super, super low, right? Um, so 76 cents to 277, but like I've been saying, man, they're going to pay a dollar, dollar 25, dollar 50, dollar something, right? I think that'll make you all happy. All right. So now let's go to the holdings because sometimes we care about the holdings. Do we, do we have a gold digger? Do we? Eh, not yet. Not yet. So no, no song for you. Um, uh, but we're getting close, man. The pink, the pink, man, it's, it's dangerous. What's a gold digger? It's when the pink is so damn expensive. These negatives, <clears throat> they hurt us. They bring down the total net assets of the fund, which brings down the NAV, hence the trade price. Not good. We don't want gold digger in our holdings. We don't want gold digger. Okay, so what do we got here? This fund is worth 1.3 billion? 1.3 bills? Wow. All right, the NAV is 2480, trade price 2480. Synthetic bailout is negative because again we got borderline gold diggers on our hands, so that's why. So no more, nothing more to cover. Again, all their, all their trades uh, expire not this week but next week. So there's nothing else to talk about except Coney and Amzi, right? Coney had a trade though, so let's go to the Coney tab. What did they do? I gotta go back to the photos. So Misty, we talked about. Here's Coney. 
what the hell do they do? Like, what, what are you doing, Coney? Coney fund manager, like we said, he, he never takes off, you know. He's that nerd ass, nerdy ass guy. He just loves numbers. He's like, hey, 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 look at me. I'm going to buy my clothes, my 1129s. Did I win? I think I won. Right? It paid 83 cents. It's probably a win, right? And then they use those 3,715 contracts. All right. They sold a call, bought a call. Of course, credit call spread. Yay. All right. There's an, another 1129 closed, 5,000 contracts. What'd they pay? $1.29, brother. That's a little expensive, but they probably won that as well. Okay, great. Check, check. Good job, nerd. And the last four, what do we got? Buy to close. Okay, they closed the 320. Again, it looks like they closed out all the 1129s. You know why? Nobody wants to work a half day on Friday. Come on, man. So Coney Fundamental, you know, even nerds need a day off. So this guy, you know, he, he's been trying to get laid. So he's, he, he's probably got a date on one of those dating apps. I don't even know the names anymore. There's so many. So he figured he, you know, let me get my trades in and I'm, I'm going to go out with Bernadette and we're going to have a date and I could talk about how good I am at options trading. All right. So, uh, yeah. That's we should come up with a name maybe with the Coney for the Coney fund manager. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's a good name, right? Um, so anyway, yeah, that's the trades four, four, and four. Let's just go to the holdings. Uh, yeah, here we go. Coin, how did coin do yesterday? Well, coin did awesome, right? MSTR did awesome, coin did awesome too. Coin went up 5.69%. Coney went up 4.92%. So good job. Pretty good. I hear movement in the house, unfortunately. My son had a sleepover, right, with his cousin. And they decided they're not going to go to sleep. They were up till 2 a.m. So we had to separate them and, and uh, this and that and the other thing. So you know how that goes, I think. Anyway, so how's how are their holdings looking? Let's see. Pink. Pink. <clears throat> you know, pink is the, the put. How are they doing? They got a 300 synthetic and a 320. The 300 is good, right? They're 3.53% above, 2.9% below the 320. But that's okay because they expire in 221. And now let's look at the rest of the trades. Oh, wait. Did, did he forget to close out the 17,000 contracts that expire on Friday? Maybe his date got canceled. Oh, man. Poor guy. But anyway, what does he got? He's got 17,000 contracts with a 320 strike price 2.9 percent out of the money why didn't you close it was it not worth it or did your date just leave you and you figured you needed a reason to go to work you need something to do i don't know man i don't know sorry to hear that brother all right um and then what else we got we got we got next week's trades what do we got Eight thousand seven hundred fifteen contracts 322.50 strike 3.7 percent out of the money that that's not that's not looking good <clears throat> 7565 contracts 325 strike price, 4.51% out of the money. That's not safe either. 900 contracts, 330 strike, 6.12% out of the money. None of, none of these are safe. Let's be real. Because we know about coin. Coin can fly fly up. But they got call credit spreads. Yay! 18% away and 25% away. But will they, will they help? Maybe. Maybe not. But we'll see. All right. Coney is a bill. They're one of the bills. Uh, they're at a bill 74 uh, mil. So that's good. Look at the nav on this one. Moo wee. 1712. Trade price 1707. Wow, what a comeback. So uh, look at their IV though. It's a beautiful IV. Coin has an IV of 79.12%. The IV estimate based on that is $1.4. Group C declares in 13 days on December the 11th. Okay, does that make sense? Again, way too much movement. The whole house is probably up. The problem is when the older kids get up, they wake up the two-year-old and the two-year-old's up and then everyone's up. And You see why I get up at the crack of dawn to get my videos done? Because I need to get up and get think before the chaos, you know, pursues. But um, how did Amazon do yesterday? They went down 1.03%. AMZ went down 0.5%. So about half. All right. So how are we looking on their synthetic? They're pinky. Uh, 210 synthetic. Amazon's at 205. That's okay. That's just hanging out. They're 2% away. They'll get there. But let's look at the calls. Anything for this Friday? No. AMZ fund manager, he don't, he's like, I ain't 
I ain't working Friday. But uh, he's got 10,280 contracts, 2 12.50 strike, 3.29% on the money. For Amazon, yeah, maybe that's safe. That's five and a half trading days, though, so anything can happen. We'll see, guys. We shall see. We shall see. All right, total net assets for this fund, 209 mil. Uh, that's a nav of 1893, trade price 1897. Not co not quite the 20 we want. We'll get there. 30 day IV is 24.9%. Okay, okay. And uh, that would produce a 36 cent payment. Group D declares again in 20 days. All right, so that's the funds. There's no pre market, but there is, there was after hours. Do you guys care about after hours? Maybe. How did they do, right? So. After hours on Tesla, this is as of last night, as of 7.59 p.m., Tesla went up 0.45%. They closed at 334.40. Tesla went up 0.72%, 15.33. NVIDIA went up 0.48%. It's at 135.99. NVIDIA went up 0.28%. It's at 24.87. Nothing drastic yet. Uh-oh, coin a little red, a little red, down 0.15% at 310.50. Coney went down a little, 0.23%, it's at 1703. MSTR, ooh, looking green. It's up 1.25%, 393.70. MSTY up 1.44%, it's at 3443. TSLL is green, it's up 0.85%, it's at 2009. Uh, TSLL, I have a 20 and a 21 put. Uh, I believe for this Friday. So guess what? I don't care if I get assigned. How about that one? All right, TNA. I'm still not trading. Very expensive. Uh, they're up 0.87 percent. They're at 55.69. AMDY. They are up 0.87 percent. They're at 11.58. AMZ is up 0.42 percent. It's at 19.05. BTC. Bitcoin is down 1.55 percent. They're at 95k. Uh, Bitex is up 0.3%. It's at 59.82. Soxel is up 0.56%. I mean, I, that, that's a shocker, right? Soxel was up 27. It's at 27.13. Um, I got some puts for this Friday and we'll see, man. I, I need Soxel to hit 30. Let's be real. They are pissing me off. SMCI, how you doing? And they're red. They're down 0.14%. They're at 3502. All right, let's look at SMCY. No update, right? No. Nah. Last update is 757. Maybe they're just not colorful. All right, they're down 0.13% at 3041. Palantir is up 0.2% at 6618. Platy is up 0.13% at 67. Tissum is up 0.06% at 181.30. And then Tissme is up three. Wow. Hey yo! Wow, what, what, what's up with that? Tis tis me, tis me is up three point zero four percent. That's pretty good. It's at nineteen sixty four. Noise. I don't own tis me. I do through WiMAX. Does that count? Anyway, guys. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you're entertained. If not, please come back tomorrow. Oh, wait, tomorrow's video. It was it's pre-recorded uh, because, again, there's nothing to cover. The market's not open today. So what am I going to cover? Well, tomorrow I'm covering the spreadsheet for you. I'm basically going into how my daily spreadsheet works because people ask me to cover it. And I did have a video for that. But again, I changed my spreadsheet throughout the year. You know, you guys know that. So. I did an updated video about that. So if you guys want to tune in for that, I'll be there for the 6.30 premiere and we could chat. We could, you know, BS, talk about how fat we are, how we need to, you know, go go to the gym, right? Or or talk about whatever. Talk about our, you know, our socks, all bag holding and all that. But anyway, uh, yeah, there'll, there'll be a video tomorrow. So tune in for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, though, this particular video, please hit the thumbs up button. It does go a long way. I know. It's, it's just a button, all right? So if you enjoyed the video, hit the button, right? If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments below. Below. So that's all I got for today. So, so I guess if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, 
You gotta say the key word. What the hell is the key word? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, man. I don't know. How about Happy Thanksgiving? Or if you want to get more creative, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? You know, are you thankful for your health? Are you thankful for your friends and family? Are you thankful for, you know, your children, right? Are you thankful for, um, you know, being an investor today in this insane investor world? What are you thankful for? All right. So you could, you got, you got two options. If you're not thankful for anything, you could just say happy Thanksgiving. Or if you're just too lazy to think about it, just say happy Thanksgiving. And then I'll know you made it through the video. Or you could say what you're thankful for, right? 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 Sound good? All right. It works for me. Um, you know, I just want to say, guys, I'm thankful for you guys watching this video day in and day out. You know, again, I'm just a guy recording in a garage on a phone. And who would have thought it would make it this far, right? I'm still, still that same guy recording on a phone. No fancy lighting, no fancy editing, no fancy location, no fancy office, just a phone and a garage. The most expensive thing about uh, my, uh, you know, my channel is my phone. <laughs> you know, the damn iPhone is a, it's it's a it's it's awesome, right? The phone does everything. So, uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy it with your friends, family, your children, every you know, everyone, 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 everyone. Try you know, do what you want. Talk about investing, right? Probably shouldn't talk about politics unless everyone's on the same side. Or you just drink beer, watch football, and tune everyone out. And then eat dinner when it's time, right? Do whatever you want. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Have a great day, everyone. Later.